Welcome to the Build at Scale Labs at Purdue. I'm here to demonstrate how we can program a cobot arm using its native simulator in a virtual environment. This video gives a basic overview of the API extension that we built to connect standard bots into NVIDIA iSexim. Standard bots developed an intuitive software that simplifies programming cobot moments. With their low code interface, it is pretty straightforward to program ARM movements, grip per actions, and to utilize their vision systems. They have an inbuilt simulator to visualize programs before it can be run on the live cobot. The software also allows you to add objects to their environment. Currently, the ARM cannot interact with the objects added in the native environment. If we have to simulate the scene with other objects, we need a simulator that can support physics and can include all the elements of a work cell or an entire manufacturing layout. To tackle the object interaction problem, we took a unique approach. We need a simulator that can represent the cobot mechanism as well as interact with the surroundings, right? Well, what if we could integrate standard bots and dissect them? We can create a custom extension using Python in iSexum. Why iSexum? It's a 3D simulation software that is backed by real physics and is highly customizable. Extensions in Omniverse in general can be programmed using Python. Standard bots also have a Python SDK and a public API for external control and data streaming. This is a dream combo for everyone who wants to visualize interactions with the virtual environment. It is also convenient to do so because Python is widely known. The below screenshots will help better visualize the setup. This is the native simulator. This is the extension. And this is iSexum. The real environment is shown here on the left side. This is how the cobot is positioned in our facility. If we look closely inside the extension, the URL and the token fields are blank. This is because we hard coded them for security purposes. As an end user, you will have to fill them correctly to use the extension. Now let's look at the extension and its UI. If your environment has multiple articulations, you can select which one to control. In this example, we only have one articulation defined. Once we click play, the extension UI will be displayed. And only if there is a valid articulation, the UI will be displayed. The UI has some fields that should be filled before we connect to the API. The URL of the cobot, the unique token, robot kind, and a surface gripping feature. This feature assumes the gripper will hold the object from pick to place. I'm going to create a simple program using the simulator. This program will pick the cube from the first fixture and keep it in the other one. I'm programming this first routine inside iSexum. I'm not using the physical cobot. This is a demonstration of a concept called offline programming where we program the arm using its digital twin. It might take a while to adjust to this, but it's easy to adapt since the standard bots controller is highly interactive, intuitive, and convenient. For context, this took me five minutes to do, evidently from the timestamp on the bottom right. Since this routine was programmed using a simulator, it will have errors when it's run on the live cobot. This is due to measurement errors, which may not match with the virtual environment. As expected, the picking of the cube doesn't match with what we programmed using the virtual environment. And also, the placing is a little off. This is a minor adjustment and should be fixed using the real cobot. Here, I'm physically correcting this. Let's run this corrected routine in the virtual environment. We adjusted this physically using the real cobot. So we should test this in the virtual environment to identify gaps and update them here as well. This is the updated virtual environment. 
visually we can't see the changes right based on the previous run i deduced that the cobot is a little further away from the table hence i moved it closer after measuring it again to do this accurately the snap and pivot tool will help we have a video on how to use the tool which will be mentioned in the video description to test this new virtual environment i created a new program that picks the cube from fixture 2 and places it back to fixture 1 now let's run that the program works as expected this concludes that both of our real and virtual environments are synchronized let's summarize the steps we did so far first we programmed the cobot offline using the digital twin we did not use the physical cobot at this phase just pure simulator this is the beauty of offline programming where we could program routines without the physical cobot we then run this virtually programmed routine in the live cobot based on the run we tweak this program slightly to accommodate changes on how it should precisely run as per your standards after this we then modify our virtual environment by running this tweaked routine the process is iterative until the virtual environment matches with the real one if we use the snap and pivot tool to accurately position the objects the iterations would be fewer reiterating that the link for this video is in the description in this method we termed this concept as sim to sim we connect the simulator of the cobot to a world simulator which is isaac sim this method is convenient less complex and the native controller takes care of the cobot in this video we learned how to program this cobot in a virtual environment using this extension I hope you like this video and stay tuned for more content on manufacturing automation. Thank you.